Damn the car! Come back, the car is on fire. I got the breaker car going there. But, uh, hand lines go to windows. That's gonna ruin I hear voices. <laughs> That's gonna ruin the whole picture. Yeah. That's been there a while now. Broke down, maybe. I'm in the road there, too. So yeah, that's what well, I'll do is step off to the side and kind of. Pretty young growth at the time too. Well, you know what it was. Actually, it looked a lot like what you see behind you. Very little underbrush at all. Yeah. Old growth, big trees, tall canopy. Oh, old growth. This still hadn't been logged. No, so not the side of the hill. So these would have been that trees. The bigger, only the front bigger. Yeah. We're not talking, you know. Three people owned this. Sequoias or anything like that. But these are substantial, old substantial growth, trees. Old growth. Yeah. It's um again mostly devoid of underbrush. So. When the 20th Main's up here, they look that way. They can see much further than we can see today. Right. That's right. Oh, right. Oates would write about how he didn't realize the 20th Main was in front of him until he got shot at. Yeah. Which, uh, to me, the actual 20th Main, I think they're probably a little bit farther back. Yeah. Using kind of the military crest of the hill. Yeah. Hey, Frog. Hey, Frog. Yeah, What's up, buddy? Yeah, where are you going? Right here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We ain't gonna be able to see them, man. We need to be trees on, here. We need to be on that path down there. We can catch them. Yeah. They didn't have as many trees packed in yeah, here yeah. back then. Well, it, was, it wasn't as thick. Yeah. Oh, so you can extend the line this way too. Now they're gonna come up this side. Yeah. So that boulder back there? Yeah. Called Oats Boulder? That's where we're going to go. That's allegedly, allegedly, that marks the farthest of the 15,000. Civilians, get your fucking asses away from him. <laughs> oh, he's right in there in the middle. He's right in the middle with the kid. <laughs> Roll over there, David. I am. I'm, I'm video David. Oh. Yeah, let's get out their way, man. What you just saw was about 20 minutes of what was going to be a two hour hike we were going to do today that followed the men of the 15th Alabama into battle on July 2nd, 1863. From their point of initial contact with the Union 2nd um, uh, United States Sharpshooters at the Slider Farm, all the way up Big Round Top and down here to their fight with the 20th Maine on Vincent Spur. As I was telling you before, the whole battle only lasted about 90 minutes. But it was 90 minutes of, for the participants incredible confusion, sheer terror, and an extraordinary amount of carnage. The commander of the 15th Alabama, the 29-year-old named William C. Oates, 
And Oates is so physically exhausted at the end of the fight that he actually uh, passes out from fatigue, uh, emotional fatigue, physical, uh, physical fatigue, lack of water. He saw his brother, John Oates, get mortally wounded by the boulder just behind where the actual 15th Alabama allegedly advanced, just behind our, our living historians today. Now, the 15th Alabama, their job was to drive in the left flank of the uh, Union Army and hopefully capture Little Round Top. They failed to do that. As we all know and has been memorialized in novels and films, the 20th made it a crucial moment. Just as the 15th Alabama is getting ready to pull back, uh, order a, a charge, a bayonet charge, and William C. Oates would later write that his men ran like a herd of wild cattle. Now the men of the 15th Alabama, they went into the fight with about 500 men. When they did the roll the next day, they had just a little over 200 men. So for those men that survived, and William C. Oates in particular, who commanded the 15th Alabama, he left Gettysburg, but Gettysburg never left him. Every time he would think of this fight, he would remember a lost opportunity for the Confederacy. He would remember his brother, John Oates, who uh, a few weeks after the uh, mortal wound he sustains here on Little Round Top is buried in an unknown grave, uh, just actually about a half a mile behind us. So the, the specter of Little Round Top haunted William C. Oates the rest of his life. In the early 1890s, William C. Oates hopes to erect a marker on this hillside to the memory of the men of the 15th Alabama who fought and died here and especially to the memory of his brother, John Oates. Because of the bureaucracy of the War Department that managed the battlefield at that time, it never comes to pass. But we call that uh, boulder back there today, Oates Boulder. Allegedly the farthest advance of the 15th Alabama and where John Oates was, um, was allegedly mortally wounded. They dragged his body behind that, that rock. Uh, John Oates was uh, born on uh, December 24th. And William C. Oates, for the rest of his very long life, We'll get melancholy on two days, one December 24th and the other on July 2nd, uh, as he remembers this battle, what might have been, and of course, the loss of his, his dear brother. What we were hoping to do today is present what a little bit of what the fight for Little Round Top would have looked like. What is 130 men assaulting a hill? What does it look like? Also, what does it sound like? We can never mimic the gunfire, the slaughter, the carnage, the blood, the smoke. But hopefully we can help bring the battle to life by doing a little bit of what we did today. Uh, these guys have been camped out all weekend at the Slider Farm, and they've done a, a hell of a job for it. So why don't you give them a round of applause? <laughs> and with that, folks, I hope someday when we reschedule the full hike, you'll join us. Uh, but uh, feel free to explore the hill. And again, thanks to the Men of the Liberty Rifles, the preeminent living historian organization in the United States. Thank you, folks. Awesome. Folks, we're, we're going to rest here for a little bit, so if you have any questions, feel free. I, everybody's pretty tuckered out, but they're, they're really nice guys. I know they look mean, but uh, feel free to ask questions about what they're wearing, what they have uh, on their bodies, what they're carrying, all that sort of stuff. We're going to rest here for a little bit and get some water. Uh, so. Feel free to talk, interact, and we'll be around for a little bit, and then we'll be down at the slider farm for the rest of the weekend. So, thank you. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, so, some of you guys know this. One of my ancestors was in Company K, the 20th Maine. So, this was super cool, and I hope that maybe somewhere, wherever he is, this is a nice little honor for the dudes who fought here. So, I just want to thank you all for doing that. That was awesome. So, thanks. Oh. <laughs> Put that flag out. Put that flag out so we can get a picture there. Yeah. Yeah, right on, man. Good job. Man. Thank you. Just one shot. There you go. <laughs> cool deal. Yes, yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Get on in there. You ready? One, two, three. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, this is cool, man. All 
Okay, hey, I got a question for you. Who led this? What was the name of you know the person that would have led this whole group up here? Uh, it would have been Colonel Williams. Colonel Williams. Williams. Now, was that who, the guy that was just talking to us? Would he would have been Colonel William Seals? Uh, we, because we're not representing the entire regiment, we're just representing a battalion of it. He's just the captain. Okay, okay. all right then. And you? The adjutant, lieutenant. L lieutenant. I don't know, man. <laughs> totally awesome, man. It's the first time coming up here oh, really? the, uh, from Los Angeles, man. You know what I mean? Come out here and... My stepfather over here, he's been doing reenactment for 21 years. Oh, there you, go. you know what I mean? So we're thinking about coming up next weekend. Nice. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, this is cool, man. We had no idea. We were getting ready to leave, and he's like, oh, let's walk over here. I want to show you where this boulder is, where, <laughs> or, where, where a soldier was wounded, and they pulled him behind him. And then we heard you guys were going to be coming up through here. I was like, oh, man, I got to check this out. Yeah, it's not something they do every weekend. Here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, man. Right on.